What's going on, everybody? It's Jacob Soberoff for Y Tuesday, coming to you from the streets of Iowa on the day of the 2008 Iowa caucuses. We're here for Y Tuesday not to cover specifically the Iowa caucus. We're here to cover what we're calling the uncaucus, who's not able to participate in the caucus process and why that is. Over the last two presidential elections, only 6 to 7 percent of Iowans eligible to vote in the general election have actually turned out to participate. Participating in a caucus is time-consuming and it offers logistical barriers to a majority of Iowans. Troops serving overseas and students and workers with multiple jobs are not able to fulfill the caucus's most important requirement, to be present from 7 to 9 p.m. on caucus night in order to participate. So on the day of the caucus, our first stop was Des Moines Fire Station Number 4 to find out a little bit more. Right now, we've brought in extra people. They're paying uh, guys overtime. Typically, anyone that wanted to vote would submit a form a couple days ahead of time. They'd allow them to be off to vote. Uh, this time, uh, because of security, they've held back and they're just not allowing people off. Our next stop was Mercy Hospital to see if hospital employees were going to caucus. Um, our job is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You think people aren't going to be able to get time off tonight? No. Why is that? Well, because people need to be cared for and... I doubt it. So are you going to be caucusing tonight? No. And why aren't you going to be caucusing? Because they have kids at home. What was stopping 94% of Iowans from caucusing in the previous two elections? The Y Tuesday Street team split up to find out why. Are you going to be caucusing tonight? Yeah, I'm going to be working. Would you like to be working? Yeah. Would you like to caucus if you I weren't working? No, I'm not. You're not? Um, no. Why aren't you? Because I'm a felon. Really? And I just haven't made up my mind because when you get out of here, you just don't know what you want to do. Yeah. But if I could get my voting rights back, I would. Good afternoon, I would. Cleaner. What is the reason that you don't go to the caucus? Oh, we're just a little old to get out in the cold weather. We don't get out anymore when we have to. I no. am here all night, or I would be. Why? Yeah. Because I'm not going to go. I get off late. I'm... I can't. My husband's out of town. I have to be with the baby at night. Be it work or children or the weather, it was clear that most people were going to stay home. We sat down with an Iowa caucus expert, Professor Dennis Goldford at Drake University, to find out what the first in the nation Iowa caucuses mean to the rest of the election. The professor said caucuses are town meetings where residents voice their opinions on a number of issues, and he said caucuses are like sticking a thermometer in the body politic of Iowa. Despite the dismal turnout, Professor Goldford said that the Iowa caucuses are also a major media event that end up informing national opinion, too. To find out why and what that means, we caught up with some experienced journalists downtown at the Polk County Convention Center where election results were going to be tallied the night of the caucus. You're going to have a couple hundred thousand people in Iowa, in a state of three million, in a country of 300 million, having a disproportionate influence on the race. So the importance comes from the, from the momentum that is perceived rather than from many delegates, as you point out. Some people think we should do away with the caucus system entirely. Regardless, it's clear that caucuses as is prevent large groups of voters from participating. This year, Iowa saw record-breaking levels of turnout in their caucuses. An additional 223,000 voters showed up. But despite an invigorated public turnout and over 65% turnout in the 2004 general election, turnout in this year's Iowa caucuses was a dismal 16.4%. New Hampshire's primary ranks above most others in voter turnout and some are expecting record levels of turnout this year. In 2000 and 2004, 44.4% and 29.9% of New Hampshireites voted in the primaries. That put the state near the top of the United States' dismal primary election voter turnout. Uh, now that uh, the first contest has passed and everybody's seen what it's really like to have the votes counted, perhaps the candidates that haven't responded to the Y Tuesday candidate challenge are going to do so now. Stay tuned to Y2Tuesday.org for more. For Y Tuesday, this is Jacob Sobrov. We'll talk to you guys later. This land is your land.